Can we start with your name? Space Ghost Pro. You have this alias on uh, on BMW. That's MJ. Yeah, What's my, it for? Money Jordan. Money Jordan is the the down south crush shit. That's that's the main shit. You know what I'm saying? And Space Ghost Pro is like you know what I'm saying? OT Eagle and Money Jordan like that you know, chop the screw underground dog shit. You feel me? So it's just two different like sounds and shit that I bring. Mixtape. I just wanted to be real, like more dark, more like more mysterious. You know what I'm saying? More trippy. Were you always a ladies' man? Growing up, yeah. I mean, I never knew I'd end up being like that. I just so happen to always have different episodes with a lot of women. Because I grew up to a lot of neo soul women in America by Jim Jill Scott. Just, I don't know if you can hear some of that in my beats, but you can feel that vibe. It's just something like that we call in Miami vibing music. We all about vibing in Miami. Like we like to just chill and just listen to vibing music. I ain't wanted to be lyrical or nothing like that. I just wanted to be the people who smoke weed and just chill and shit. And shit. So that's what it's for. It's a lot of shit going on at one time, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I tried it out. I listened to the mixtape when I got high, you know what I'm saying? And shit, it made me feel good, you know. I was laying in the bed, smoking my blunt, or whatever, you know, when I used to smoke and shit. And it just made me feel relieved, this chill-ass music. And that's what I like to do, make chill music. Well, I quit. I quit. I'm done. Like, I, the reason why I don't want to do it is because I want to keep my mind clear, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I want to be on point at all times. What's the heaven in Miami? <coughs> Shit, having money, being rich, that's the heaven. If you got, if you rich as fuck, you can go live on South Beach. But if you're not rich, you got to go live in a you know, regular neighborhood and deal with the crabs in the bucket that yeah, hold people down every day. So that's how it is though. I'm just ready to vibe it. That's what I'm ready to vibe it. I'm not done reading. You know what I'm saying? I just listen to my elders. That's what gets you through life when you listen to your elders. What was the best part about being on tour? Uh, just being with my family, you know. Having a good time and going to the, you know, at the party or whatever, going back to the hotel, chilling with people and shit. But you know how that goes up. Um, you know, just spend time with them. Now, what's the most uncomfortable thing about being on tour? Um, shit, sitting in the car for a damn for a whole lot of hours sitting in one spot. Like, that shit crazy. Okay. Um, have you started with CeeLo yet? Working with CeeLo? Nah, I ain't hotline him yet, but. When I get a chance, if you get in the studio, I'm gonna holler at him. Like, you know, work with him, some crazy shit. You shouted out Sasha Gohard a while ago. Have you ever, like, gotten to work with her? Yeah, I, I might, I might holler at her. She fuck with me. She said she come to Miami, she wanna fuck with me. So, you feel me? If I go in Chicago and I hit her up, if she come through, I'm gonna, you know, try to do some shit with her. Anything we should be looking out for? What? Upcoming? My shit. Shit. The world will never know because I don't tell him nothing. I just bomb him. Like he, go, he got some new shit out. I don't disappoint him. Just let people feel the experience in person. Like, let them feel what I'll be saying on the music. I want them to see. I want them to see me, how I do it in person.